welcome to Family Matters. I'm your host, Brenda Johnson, and today we're at Boeing Air Force Base. We're helping them celebrate their 30th anniversary, so we're going to have a wonderful time. We're going to talk to some of the choir members, past and present, and we're just going to have a blessed time, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Family Matters. If you just joined us, we're at Bowling Air Force Base where we're celebrating their 30th anniversary. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to interview some of the choir members. And I have here with me today Doris Moore. And we're going to talk a little bit about her part in the choir. Doris, tell us how long have you been a part of the Bowling Air Force Base Choir? I first joined the choir in 1984. And uh, I was here, I was waiting for my daughter to come of age where she could sit by herself during the morning service. And I was here from 84 nonstop till about 1996. I went to another ministry for a while and I came back in 2002 and I've been back ever since. Well, I know um, when I was a part of the bowling choir, uh, Doris is not just one of the choir members, but she also has musical skills and talents that she's displayed with the choir also. Tell us a little bit about your musical background. Uh, my musical ba background dates back to about 1966. I had my first choir when I was 11 years old under my piano teacher, uh, the Tri-City Choral Music Ensemble in Tidewater, Virginia. And my job then at 11 was to play the hymns while the choir did a second part of just gospel music. So um, Miss Eunice Corcoru gave me my start with the piano, and I parlayed that into my own ministry and, you know, helping out at the church. Wonderful. Now, can you tell us a little bit, what does this 30th anniversary mean to you, and, and what message do you want to send out to the community about the choir, and what's this celebration all about? What's the true meaning behind it? The true meaning behind all of it is to God be the glory. Uh, we have to remember that Gospel music is a way to bring great news through music. And for me, 30 years of a choir being together, and some of the members are original, uh, it, it, it is a great task. It's been a, it's been a great thing to be put together. And I think people need to understand that praising God is a lifetime mission. Praising God is a lifetime mission. And we have done 30 years, and I hope we do 30 more and 30 more and 30 more. Well, we want to thank you, Doris, for taking the time to interview with us. We want you all to stay tuned because we're going to have some more interviews coming up. Um, my part in Bowling Air Force Base Choir has certainly been a mem memorable and blessed part of my life, some years that I will never forget, and I count it a blessing that I had opportun opportunity to be a part. So we're going to continue with some more interviews, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Now we have with us Mrs. Eloise Brown, and she's one of the original members of the Bowling Air Force Base Choir. Welcome to Family Matters, Ma Brown, as we call you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about when the Bowling Choir started and um, how it began? The Bowling Air Force Base Gospel Choir started in August of 1976. It was five members at the time. It was a blessing from the Lord. This is something that I wanted here at Bowling, and God has blessed me that we have gotten the choir started in August of 1976. And uh, whose idea was it to start the Bowling Gospel Choir? It was mine. All right. And that's really a blessing because Bowling Choir has touched my life and so many other lives. And here, as we celebrate the 30th anniversary, can you express to us um, what you want the community to know about the Bowling Choir in celebrating these 30 years? Celebrate for 30 years with the choir. The choir have been blessed, very well blessed. We have traveled all over the world and have had a good time everywhere we have went and have been enjoying ourselves and growing spiritually in the Lord. Can you tell us about um, what's, com what's the upcoming um, plans for the bowling choir? 
Um, do you, are you going to continue to travel? Are you recruiting new members? Uh, what's the future plans for Bowling Choir, or, or even what desires are in your heart for Bowling Choir in the future? The future, we plan to recruit new members if possible and to travel all over the world again and to enjoy ourselves and to continue growing strong in the Lord and doing his work. Well, Mother Brown, we just want to thank you. We thank you for your heart that you've given to the bowling choir. We thank you for the God-given idea and for acting on the idea of beginning the bowling choir. And as we sit here with uh, also some of the other uh, choir members backing us here, past, present, and uh, we just thank, we're just thankful for you, Mother Brown, and we just want to thank you so much for your part. And we just say keep on keeping on in the name of Jesus. Running, asking what must I do? 